<laughs> so I'm Christy Bryant with the Best of Austin Living Team at Keller Williams Realty, and we have Amanda Rollings with Trend Design Build. Amanda, mm -hmm. do you want to introduce yourself? Yes, Amanda Rollings with Trend Design Build, like Christy said, um, decorate and remodel homes. Have been for about 15 years here in Austin. So. Well, what I've done is I've prepared a couple of slides just to kind of walk through some different areas of the, the kitchens that we want to just touch on. Things like cabinets and countertops and uh, colors and all that kind of thing. So I'd like to start with cabinets. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm, I want to share with you what is the most popular and what is trending right now and what gives you the biggest bang for your buck with your with the resale of your home if you ever do decide to sell your home. So the first one, Chrissy, if you could bring up slide number one, um, is a shaker style home, shaker style cabinet. Um, very clean, very, it's become our new tradition, a tra traditional cabinet. And just so you know, if you do not want to replace all the cabinets in your, in your kitchen, we can just replace the doors too, um, makes it more cost effective. But this is a really good clean look. In this, in this um, slide, just also note the black windows. Uh, that is becoming a very popular trend too, if you need to replace windows in the house. Uh, black is is the statement and where things are going and also the light floors and I'll touch on the hardware and things like that in a few minutes but go ahead and go to number two now Christy um, again another clean look real real good look with these shaker you can do a lot with them they can be more contemporary they can be more traditional um, however you want to bring your uh, make it blend pretty with your house um, the second style would be what we call a flat panel and yes that's that's a good example and staining is also very popular and as you can see the flat panel seems to um, focus more on the wood grain of, of a, the cabinet it's very clean it's easy to keep keep clean they come in either a wood solid wood uh, cabinet door or they can be a laminated door which gives it more of a painted look and they tr they seem to have more of uh, no hardware or just a very sleek hardware piece like that. Go to the next one too, Christy. Um, yeah. This light wood, believe it or not, is coming back. Um, the blondes wood in the, in the flooring and in the cabinets is very, very popular. And we're seeing more of the white walls and the dark elements. So I kind of like it. I did, at first, I didn't really know if I would really like it. It looks really, really contemporary to me, but it's, it's really grown on me. So um, the glass front, uh, Christy, if you would, go to seven, there we go. Glass front cabinets are not like they used to be. They're used more as a little uh, feature in the kitchen. They don't have to be something that you display like the, the fine china or anything like that. They could be used in a bar area. They could use, be used just in the corner of a kitchen, but a little bit of glass adds, adds a lot of dimension um, to the kitchen. Go to the next one, Christy, because I think it shows it in the corner. Yeah, there we go. Just very different, unexpected. So looks really great. Adds that nice little bit of, like I said, dimension to it. In this slide too, also look, notice the two-tone in the, in the cabinets. Typically you see a lot of pop of color in the island and they reversed it here. They put the, the green in the cabinet and then the, the lighter color in the, in the center. So, and then lastly, Rustic is becoming really popular. Um, it's not the typical rustic that we're used to. It's more of a lighter. Um, the feature is more about the tones of the wood and the, the knots and just the real texture of the wood. And it's mis mixed and matched with um, the painted cabinets as well. Hope you guys can't hear my dog uh, moaning in the background. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, let's move on to color. I'll touch on that. Um, whites are very, very, um, and they'll always be popular, clean. In this kitchen here, you can see that it's probably a little bit more traditional. And I want you to know that you can take a standard kitchen like this and you can put new doors on it, new cabinet fronts, and it looks more modern, it looks more up to date. And it really reduces the cost. Um, in, ki in Christy's kitchen, we painted her cabinets and it went from just a normal, you know, track home type feel to a very custom elevated look. 
I think they turned out pretty, don't you, Christy? Yeah. So, um, so anyway, grays and whites. Show, show the gray kitchen, yeah, number 13. Again, that's a shaker style. Um, this backsplash, I'm not gonna talk too much about backsplash, but any kind of a brick facade in the back, uh, using it in a, in a backsplash, it could be on one wall in the kitchen, or you could use it throughout. It's becoming more and more popular. So we're, we're seeing some subways, but we seem to be fading those out a little bit, unless you use a larger subway. Uh, marbles with some texture and color seems to be where the trend is going to with backsplash. Um, then color is, is making a way back. I mean, I just said that the whites and the grays are, are very basic and traditional and seem to be the go-to, but we're seeing more blues, in particular navy, um, and also greens, emerald greens, that slide that we showed saw once before, number three that had the, um, the real dark green cabinets. So you can use a little bit of this or you can use it throughout the whole kitchen. But that's where the trend is going, probably for the next five to 10 years, I would guess. Um, and then even, I've got in my notes here, I'm cheating a little bit, plum. Believe it or not, a deep, deep plum. Slide number 11, Christy, um, is, can you find it? Number 11. Got it? <laughs> there we go. I mean, it, it's a pretty strong color. Not too many people are going to like it, but it's, it seems to be where things are going. So, in that slide as well, too, also notice the mixed metals in the hardware, how they use like a silver faucet with the gold tones. Gold looks great on blues and greens and plums as far as the hardware goes so amanda i have a couple of questions before you move on so i i noticed the exposed beams is that yeah that seems to be trending as well it's it is trending and it's trending throughout the house and matter of fact back to what we were talking about earlier with improving your home and what really is going to add value to your home i read somewhere and i think it's true um Homes will sell faster and they'll sell for more if they have some exposed beams. So it really has a lot of character. That's crazy. Um, and yeah. then I'm also curious, so the, these appliances like that fridge, they're all flush, right? They're, um, mm -hmm. can you talk just a little bit about that? Yeah, well, in, in my particular case, I have, I have different levels of cabinet makers and something like that we can make really easily where it just looks has a custom look to it um those are probably to answer your question chrissy those those are probably standard appliances where the cabinets built around it um but it, it gives it that nice wall of, of finished cabinets and appliances it just looks great you know it, and then i have but, um, one other question sure. so the um although it doesn't seem to be going backwards um that brick is that mm -hmm. actually brick or is that tile that looks like brick? Yeah, there's all kinds. There's a faux brick that comes in sheets that you can put up there, and which is best for a backsplash because it has kind of a, a washable finish to it. But people are also putting real brick where you can take, take brick to a brick company and they'll cut the brick in half and you can install it just like you would normal brick. And then you put a sealer over it and it looks, to me, it looks a lot more beautiful. It probably doesn't cost any more than, than using a laminate or, or something like that. But um, it again, it adds a lot of charm to it. And typically, I don't put it throughout the whole kitchen. I just put it on a, on a focal point, on a, a feature wall in the kitchen. Oh. So, and I also like those exposed um, open shelves, too. Those look great. Does a lot of these things that we're talking about tonight, if you mix and match them, you can do it however you want to. There's really no rule of thumb. This is just really mm -hmm. what's trending um, to make it fit your house and your function. Dion, Chris, Susan, do y'all have any questions before we move on? Um, the, the waterfall countertop where it goes around and mm -hmm. covers, you know, at least one edge, that seems to be kind of popular lately. Is that the case? 
Yeah, I've yes, I've been doing a lot of that. Um, it's easier to keep clean. Has more of that modern look to it. Um, Chrissy, I think we had one in one of those blue slides. Mm -hmm. The yep, right uh, there. there. Mm. Yeah. So it yeah it really elevates, and as you can see, they use the same material as the backsplash too, and that's easy to do. And when we get into that, Dion, the the we can do it right now. Um, that's probably a marble or a quartz. Um, you cannot go wrong if you're using quartz in your kitchen. And uh, do you know much about quartz? Do you you know? Um, some I'm not as familiar with quartz as I am granite uh, and marble, but um, I have heard good things about it. Yeah, with a marble, I would just use it in the bathroom because they stain. It stains so much, and people say you can seal it, but I haven't had a lot of good luck with it. Mm -hmm. um, the quartz, it's made to look like marble, but it's almost indestructible. You can spill red wine on it. You can. My kids would paint on it, you know, and then it just comes mm -hmm. off. I mean, it doesn't stain it. It's it's great. Mm -hmm. So, and it's relatively the same cost. Oh, um, wow. Okay. Yeah, and there's there's an and just while we're on this, um, quartz is is mainly just a, a man-made product. It could be a seizure stone or a saw stone and everything, but it's pretty much the same product. LG, in my opinion, makes one of the best. Um, LG also makes it here in the United States. We don't have to import it from China. We don't have to pay the additional tariffs on it. Um, it's just a really good product. Honestly, some of the others, the stone, I've had some imperfections in it, but LG products have been pretty consistent. So, okay. yeah. Um, let's go on to hardware. And slide number 15, Christy, if you can find it. I touched on it earlier. Um, hardware is all over the place and gold is becoming more popular and mixing metals is the trend. Um, those lanterns there are really a matte black instead of the old rub bronze that we used to see. So this matte black, mix it with whatever you like. It could be the brushed nickel faucet, it could be a gold faucet. People do it where they, they make everything match in the kitchen or they can mix and match it. Um, you may do your island in say gold and you may do your perimeter in your kitchen in say the brushed nickel because it blends better with your appliances or something. It's really whatever you like. And as you bring the, the kitchen together, it's, it seems to make sense on where you need to put something. You know, like in this case, the lighter flooring with the, the dark pendants hanging above really gives it that showstopper impact, you know, that, that you want. So um, let's look at some more of the slides that we had there, Chrissy, about 14. That's a little ahead, I think. Um, can we go back one? Maybe one more. We'll go on to there, that's fine. That was, yeah, this is going on to, to talking about some sinks. Um, this is featuring the farm sink. There we go. That's kind of a coastal look, what they call a coastal kitchen. They just use the blue in the island and then the white countertops and the, then the gold throughout. And they didn't mix the metals here. They just, well, except for the faucet, they did put the, the silver faucet in. But you can see how different it looks and how pretty and how you can use them to just suit your own taste. And again, the light, the light flooring, if you're considering flooring, flooring, it seems to be the lighter trend is where, where things are going. Um, I want to touch on the farm sink. Go ahead, Christine, did you? Yeah, I do, yeah. So the <laughs> cabinet's going all the way to the ceiling. Can you talk a little bit about that? I'm seeing so yeah. many different variations of cabinets right now. Right, that's a good question. Um, you can also see in the back of the kitchen there, there's, a, there's even an open shelf. Uh, often, say you have a standard home where the shelves, uh, the cabinets have that open space that maybe is about, oh, 12 to 15 inches. I've come in before and put added cabinets at the top and put the glass front there. You can even light them from the back. So you can feature things like your platters and your vases and anything pretty up there that you don't use all the time, but maybe you wanna, you know, display them. Also, it adds a lot of height to your kitchen. 
So, you know, instead of it stopping and then you wonder what, what should I do from there, just it really elongates the kitchen and makes it look a lot more dramatic. And then when we go and paint them, you really can't tell what's new and what's old. So it's, the impact is really great when you do something like that. So let's go into the farm sink. Just talk about that for a minute. You know, so many times we've seen the, the white farm sink. The trend now is going towards, in this case, that's a concrete sink. And it goes with either a traditional kitchen or it could go with a farm kitchen. It could go with, you know, a modern kitchen, but the texture is there. And we're starting to see more concrete used for the countertops, which that seemed to go and, uh, you know, fade out. And then now it's coming back in places. And then, but in particular with the, the sink, concrete's really um, becoming more the trend. And then also we're seeing more copper. Go to the next one, Christy. I don't know which number it is. Let's see. I think that's number. Yeah, that, well, that's your standard um, farm sink. And yeah, the copper. And in this picture in particular, I mean, they've used the oil rub bronze faucet. They've got the gold hint hardware on the cabinets, and then they're using a copper. So they're really mixing the metals. And it looks like they've got either a stone um, or just a gray subway backsplash. And again, with the, the white quartz countertops and the light flooring. So they've really mixed it up in this picture. But it looks great. So, yeah, that picture there, that's our, our classic white. And that farm sink in particular, a lot of them will come this way, where one, one side of the farm sink will have a pattern to it, and then the back side will be a smooth finish. So you, in, you're, you, know, you, you can rotate them. You can put, a, put the smooth finish on the front, like we did in your house, Chrissy, or you can put the, the pattern on in there. So, and in this kitchen, See how great the, the green looks with the gold? It looks really, really pretty. And then this one is, is touching on the lighting. I want to talk about lighting just a little bit. The trend right now with lighting over the island is small pendants in a row. And again, they can, you can use any colors, you can use any kind of metals, you can do what, you know, any shapes, but that seems to be the, the trend right now. Or if you go to the next slide, Christy, the impact is a couple of large pendants. So it's either the small ones or use some large ones. And you can see in this kitchen, they use the mixed metals in the pendants, and then they use the, the matte black hardware. And again, that light kitchen floor with all white. It looks beautiful, looks real clean. And then also notice in the back there, they used a wood tone cabinet in addition to the white. So it looks pretty. It adds a, a nice dimension to it and a little bit unexpected. Is this a quartz that we're looking at right here? Yeah, that's the quartz. And what they've done there is they've probably added um, cabinets, rebuilt the island, and put some cabinets on to, to support the island and then uh, support the, the quartz. And then you have storage on the front side as well as the back side. I'm assuming that the dishwasher's on the on the opposite side, with since the sink's in the middle of the island. Mm -hmm. um, what I like, you know, because I'm thinking from a, uh, both what I like and then from you know advising a prospective seller, and mm -hmm. I love colors. I mean, I love like the the deep blue. I mean that you know I, I think that's just fantastic. But a seller, if I were advising them, I would think that they probably would want to avoid those real strong colors just because not everybody is not going to appeal to, you want it to appeal to most people possible, right? Right. And so that's you know, kind of a thing. Well, and Chrissy, you can probably chime in here too. I can just speak from personal experience. Um, I bought a home. Chrissy helped me three years ago buy a home. And my husband and I remodeled it because, of course, that's what we want to do. We just want to jump in there and make it out. <laughs> and um, knowing that I was going to sell it, I really was selective on what I chose to do. But at the time, three years ago, the gold finishes were, were starting to be popular. 
um, you were starting to see them more and more. And so I went ahead and, and just did it. And, you know, and it, it came up. My husband kept asking, is everybody going to like gold? Because at first, even my kids, they think it's grandma's house. You know, they think, <laughs> oh, this is what grandma used to have back in the, you know, 80s or 70s or something. But no, I think it's, it's an elevated look. And everybody that came through my home, I think they loved it. I mean, we ended up having eight offers on the house in less in about 24 hours. And what I did is I put the white quartz on the, the gold um, finishes, the gold hardware. I put a white, simple white backsplash on, looked very clean. And I kept my cabinets original. I kept in just a stained color. Um, and it sold, you know, really fast. So I don't, I don't know, Susan, I think, I think as long as the kitchen is pulled together well, I think it will sell and okay. I it'll definitely improve the value of your home. Okay. But you know, I, I, it goes back to, I think it, you have to make it yours and I think you have to make it something that you love. Um, even if you're going to be there a short time, you know, you just need to, to make it your own. Right now, I have a client right now who he's doing his own project and he's going for very clean lines, flush the whole way. Um, and he talked about not having any hardware on it, having the push and then the appliances as well, which is, it's very modern. Yeah. And it seems to me that it's very modern. And it's, it's very modern, but if you, you know, you think about it back in the sixties, this was the look, they had very flat fronts. Um, and it really does change with whatever you put on top of that counter. Mm -hmm. You could put a really beautiful antique base and it turns more traditional or you could put something sleek and white and it becomes very contemporary. Um, yeah, this, the glass at the top over the, over the refrigerator, that's that look where you extend it up, like we talked about before. It brought that black element in um, over the pendants. You know, it, it just looks really good. That blonde wood. The open shelving here, blanking those glass, what used to be the china cabinet look, it really changes it. it. Just It just looks great. One thing that I've noticed recently that you can't see from these photos, but is the pullouts within the, um, especially the bottom drawers or the bottom mm -hmm. shelves. Um, I think kitchens that have the pullouts, Dion, Chris, do y'all know what I'm talking about? That, it, you know, when you open it up and start having to reach in, you get to pull the, yeah. the tray yes. out. Yeah. Yep. Those very, and, and also the soft touch drawers, right. that elevates the level of the kitchen dramatically. And you don't know unless you're opening things, but it's um, pretty significant. And I, I see the buyers really, really like that. And you can do that with your kitchen cabinets that you have right now. We just changed the hinges on there. Mm -hmm. So, yep. The wicker elements too are becoming more popular. Anything wicker, wicker and light fixtures. I love that they use the, the gold pendant with the white on this island. And then you can see the two gold faucets. It just looks great. And again, this would look a little bit more modern, but they put that rug in the middle of it, which is a traditional rug, and it, it blends with anything. You could put a jute rug there and it would look a lot more modern because the elements of the pendant and the faucets and everything has kind of a um, contemporary feel to it. They've got the industrial um, lights over the over the windows there. So depending on how you decorate it, it could it could go either way, which would appeal to any buyer. You know, it, it's a good look. This rustic with the white quartz, open shelving. It brings that cabin feel to it, but yet it meets contemporary at the same time. Seems like most of the countertops are white. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just noticing. Yeah, I yes. was gonna. I was gonna ask that. I mean, I'm curious how many, how much people are doing granite anymore? Because most of your examples seem to be white quartz or some kind of white. You know, I really don't see it much. I, I have yet, probably in the last two or three years, to have anyone ask for for granite. It's okay. all been uh, quartzite is becoming more popular. Have you ever seen a piece of quartzite before? Uh, it's, it basically has the feel of granite, but it's a lot more crystallized. 
So when a light shines on it, it has that iridescent quartz look to it. You can also use it in things like a wet bar area. You can put a light behind it and it illuminates the countertop. Hmm. Uh, I've used it where I've made it a wall in a shower and put a light behind it. And it just, the drama is incredible where the light comes through that quartzite piece. So it's, it's almost as durable as a quartz, but I think people are going to the quartz because of the cleanliness, easy to clean. You don't have to seal it. You can't destroy it. And then the white reflects a lot of light. Yeah. yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. Very traditional look, but just a few updates made it look a lot more modern. Pretty. Again, back to that brick. I really am curious you? if that's real brick. <laughs> I know, I know. And then- I like the way those subway tiles are, are um, put on the diagonal. Yeah, that, yeah that's, that's called a herringbone pattern. And they've used a larger, that's probably a four by 12 um, subway. Yeah, you know, we're, we're getting away from the three by six standard subway and we're moving more into the larger tiles. And there's all different ways you can, you can you know, lay that tile too. It just gives it a different look from. Right. And see, they use the, the lighter wood. You can see that one cabinet peeking through that's a lighter wood with the island being a lighter wood. And then of course they put the color in around the perimeter um, and then it went with the brush nickel. Looks good. I never thought about building out the cabinets to, to um, you know, make your refrigerator freezer look like it's, you know, built. <laughs> buying those that, you know, fit to those dimensions is really, mm -hmm. I know one time I priced it, right? And it's, <laughs> you know, I thought, well, no, I don't think I'll do that. You know, cabinets, you can have them built. I say, I, I mean, I refer to some cabinet makers that I have that are good, better, and best. I have one that he makes basically furniture for kitchen cabinets. It just looks, the quality is so good. And then I have another guy that he can build them all day long and they'll hold up for the test of time. But, you know, he just, he's just not as expensive. So it just basically is what you want and how much detail you want. A shaker cabinet is going to be a lot less expensive than a lot of the other styles that we're seeing. The flat fronts have a tendency to be a little bit more expensive. Just because really? of the, mm -hmm. Well, I thought I would share. Okay. Yeah, take a look at that countertop there. As far as the quartz, there are oodles and oodles of different styles of quartz. I mean, we talked about it just being white, but you can see there that there's a silver and a like, kind of a gray tone going through and a, a gold brown going through it. Gives it kind of a modern look, but it really plays off the other elements in the kitchen. Very, very pretty. And again, they're using the, the black windows in the back. You know, you can actually paint your windows if you want to. Actually, I have a client who um, they're doing a custom build and they were told by the window manufacturer that some of them are just painted. Yeah. They're white, yeah. they're painted black, so. Right, so to give it that updated look too. And I love that floating shelf made out of the quartz. It looks good too. Yeah. So I thought I would share with you all the cost value report. It's um, pretty simple, but it's a company and they actually take go throughout the whole U.S. and they look at estimates from um, handymen that have put in um, their information. So it's comparing, um, it has Austin south of the U.S. and then national. But if you're looking at a minor kitchen remodel, that would be in the range of $21,000. And the resale value back out of it is about 17,000. So it's 78, 79% that you get back out of that. I feel like if you were to do that and then enjoy it, so really you're getting it if you're doing it over time. Like you invest the money and then it's five to 10 years later that you sell. Really at that point, you've had that experience of enjoying it. And um, if you were to do a major kitchen remodel, that is about half the price of the second major remodel that they put. So a major remodel being about 65,000, that you would recoup about 58, 59% of that 
when you go to resell. And then major, major kitchen remodel being 130,000 that you would recoup about the same, about 56% um, of that amount. So what that says to me is that if you're gonna put in a small amount, you're definitely gonna get it out. It's the really big remodels that hopefully you're doing it for yourself and your self enjoyment because you're gonna get more than half of it out, but probably not the full amount. I feel like in neighborhoods like Meridian that you almost certainly get it out because everything is the same. When there's a when homes go on the market here and they're different, they go under contract in a few hours. Like yeah. That's what people are looking for. So. Now, Christy, with that first one, that minor remodel for twenty one thousand, you what was the percentage again? Was it seventy eight? Um, seventy eight point five percent back okay. on that investment. Okay. Do you have any yes. idea, Christy, what they what they call a minor remodel? So a minor kitchen remodel would be leaving the cabinets in place, replacing the fronts, um, replacing the, the drawer pulls, replacing the cooktop oven range and refrigerator, and replacing the countertops and sink. I must not be charging enough. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda. I think it's really good information. It's fabulous. That's great.